Okay, boxing fans, if I can have your attention, please. It's time for the second half of tonight's card. Your referee in the ring for this bout, your chief of officials, Mr. Lyle Ecclestead from Big Fork, Montana. And now for your competitors in this 147 pound welterweight matchup. Boxing from the red corner, he hails from Rio Grande, Puerto Rico, representing the world-class athlete program at Fort Huachuca, Yamar Resto. And boxing from the blue corner, he comes from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, representing the world-class athlete program at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, Farid Samad. There is Farid Samad. You see he has won this uh, All-Army Championship for several years. He is a lefty. And across the way, a gentleman who is also a left-hander, Yamar Resto, who, by the way, is moving from 156 pounds down to 147 for this bout, so we'll see how that move downward in weight affects Resto. It's so strange to see fighters going down in weight, only in the amateur ranks it seems, where you see that as fighters get older and mature, they're usually going up. But here's a case with a fighter trying to fit into a natural weight class for himself. Still attacking with the uh, right hook. Farid Samad is um, ranked number five in the United States ranking, so he is way up there. And for him, this is like he's on his home turf. He thinks he owns this championship. He goes in here with a lot of poise and determination from that a fighter who moves under the body shots very well under the body very well goes downstairs fairly elusive in there resto a 21 year old stationed here at fort huachuca sometown is uh, rio grande uh, puerto rico you heard that Halfway through round one is, of course, scheduled for three, as are all of these matches. I'm Al Bernstein, along with Dave Bontempo. Delighted that you joined us. We're also delighted that the, the men and women serving in Bosnia are getting a chance to see this as the Armed Forces Radio and Television Network beams it out to them. Nice jab by Farid Samad. And a left hand that stuns Resto, and he gets a standing eight count. No, it was a for holding behind the, the head, but he's hurt, Dave. And you, first of all, the jab was setting everything up. Stop! He was taking his time, and then Saman unloaded the big left hand bomb. Now we've got that standing eight count. Five, six, seven, so Yamar Resto gets a standing eight after uh, Samad nailed him with a good straight left hand. is a big puncher. Oh, he's in trouble. This one, I don't know if it's going to go too much further. And you see Samad really digging in here, going downstairs with the punches, and that's two now with the standing eights. Three in one round could end it. How much time, but Samad in total control. This one has been stopped. Samad raced across the ring after he was allowed to do so, and Resto was seemed unaware of what was going to happen, and so the referee stops the contest here in round one. And for Farid Samad, ranked number five in the United States, it is an impressive victory that sends him into the Armed Forces Championships in a couple weeks. He was showing the jab, just engaging in this battle of left-handers. The usual strategy against the lefty, not there for Resto, but the right hand lead with both the southpaws. He just unloaded with the bombs. Started with the jab, and then right over the top there, setting it up perfectly. That drove Resto back, and he, of course, felt the power. Now you've got Samad loading up, sitting down on that power. 
Resto not moving his hands at all. And you just see the left hand. He, Samad is itching to throw that now. He's got the sense of it. And he goes on to take an early victory. So a terrific performance by Fareed Samad, the 27-year-old from Philadelphia, who's stationed in Fort Bragg. An excellent performance by him. He shows his power, and he wins his third U.S. Army championship. Corner yell to look over there. And we are just about set to go for the announcement. Let's go up to Ed Simpson. Okay, Boston fans, the decision of your referee, he stopped the contest at 2 minutes 42 seconds in the first round. And your winner from the blue corner, Farid Samad. So Farid Samad wins it in the very first round. We'll be back for more from the U.S. Army Championships.